welcome to Mastering Math. My name is Julia Cox. Today the focus is going to be on fractions, the first section, and that will be 4.3a. Represent a fraction a and b as a sum of a fraction 1 and b, where a and b are whole numbers and b is greater than 0, including when a is greater than b. So let's go ahead and get started. The first one we're going to do is a is greater than B. So, the uh, question is, a recipe calls for you to use three-fourths a cup of milk, one-fourth a cup of oil, and two-fourths a cup of water. How much liquid was needed to make the cake in all? So, three-fourths, so we go ahead and we shade in three out of four. So this would be one-fourth, two-fourths, three-fourths, four out of four. And we're shading in three out of four. So one, two, three, three out of four. And that would be for the milk. So if you want to write that down, milk. And you could draw these visual models to help you as well. Then the next one is, it calls for oil, one-fourth a cup of full. So we got this right here, this part is the milk. And then we have one out of four. So this is three out of four for milk. Then we have one out of four for the oil. So we'll go ahead and show that in. In this part, we can write oil, which is one out of four. And then we have two out of four, which is water. So we shade in one, two out of four, two out of four, which is the water. So we have the milk, the oil, and the water. Milk three-fourths, oil one-fourth, and the water two-fourths. So when we look at that, we'll go ahead and write this where you can see. So we have three-fourths plus one-fourth plus two-fourths. Which when we're looking at this, we can see that this entire area is shaded in. This entire uh, four out of four, which is one whole. So we can see in our model that we have six out of four shaded in. And we know that four out of four gives us one whole. So we actually have, this is the improper fraction, which is six out of four, but if we're writing it in mixed number, it's going to be one whole and two out of four. One whole and two out of four. And it says how much liquid was needed to make the cake, and we're talking about cups. So this is one and two, four cups of liquid, because that's what we're answering how much liquid was used to bake the cake. That would be one and two fourths cup of liquid was used to bake the cake. This is the same as six fourths. It's the same as one fourth plus one fourth plus one out of four plus one out of four plus one out of four plus one out of four, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, which is six out of four. When you see one out of four, or you see the numerator is one, it's talking about the unit fraction. It's talking about each piece. Now let's go ahead and go to the number line. What would that look like on the number line? It would look like this. You would make your ticks. So we got one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths, which is actually one whole. We got five fourths, and then we got six fourths. And when we're looking at that, we're going from three fourths, so we go one, two, three, so three fourths will be the milk, and then we go one fourth for the oil, one fourth for the oil, and then we go two fourths for the water, one, two. And when we're looking at that, that's six out of four. So our answer is six out of four for the liquid 
used to bake the cake. So that's the model we're representing this one. Now, I would like to go ahead and erase this and uh, I guess to take a look at another problem like this. I'm going to go ahead and take this away. Hopefully this has been helpful. Just remember that this is one out of four. That's the unit fraction. That's the smallest piece that you would have. Go ahead and take this away. Now let's try another word problem. This time, the word problem that I have for that is Lacey and Mary are um, having pizza. And Lacey decides to get a small pizza and the pizza is cut into six slices. Lacey has two out of six pieces of the pizza. So she eats two out of six and Mary eats three out of six slices. And our goal is to find out how much of the pizza did the girls eat all together. So for this type of problem, we would just go ahead and we would just draw the pizza. We're trying to figure out how many slices of pizza that Lacey and Mary ate all together. So then we could start off with two six. We could shed in one, two out of six that Lacey ate, and then three out of six. I'll go ahead and uh, shade that in a different color because uh, that way we can keep it separate. So Lacey ate two out of six, and then Mary ate three out of six. So we shade that in. One, two, three. So we have two six that Lacey ate, and we have three six that Mary ate. And then when we add that together, we know that five out of six slices were eaten. And when we look at this, one, two, three, four, five, five slices were eaten out of six slices of pizza. And when we do the unit fraction for that, I'll go ahead and erase this so you can take a look at that. If you would like to uh, break that down yourself, you can go ahead and do that. So it would be, because Lacey's not going to just eat two slices of pizza at the same time. She's going to eat one slice and then eat another slice. So she would start off with one six plus one six. And then Mary would have started off one six, then plus one six, plus one six. And just know that five out of six, this is the same as five out of six. One, two, three, four, five. Five out of six. Now, if we were doing this on the number line, we would just go ahead and we know to get to the whole, it's going to be six out of six slices, which is, let me fix that. Six out of six. We know six slices out of six slices is going to be one whole small pizza. So then we make sure that we do our ticks. So we got one six, two out of six, three out of six, four out of six, five out of six, and then we're going from two six, so we go start here, and we go to two six, so that's what who ate, that's what Lacey ate, so we can write Lacey down here, because that represents this right here, and then we have Mary ate three out of six, so if you you know, if you want to count by ones like this, you can do that. So it'd be one, two. One, two, which Lacey ate two out of six, and then we could go up. So Mary ate three slices. So one, two, three. So, and we would know that this part represents Mary. And then we can look at this and see that they ate a total of so Lacey and Mary ate five out of six slices of pizza.
Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Please click like, share, subscribe. If you have any uh, future uh, suggestions for videos that you would like me to post, please leave suggestions in the comments. Thank you for taking the time to watch the video. Have a wonderful evening.